Welcome back to Ixion, my name is Nilaus and this is the second episode of our Let's Play of this amazing game. Thank you so much for all the support on the first episode, it was absolutely amazing and it's so good to see that you guys are as excited as I am for this uh, this game and this series. So uh, I'm going to continue to uh, to record these and make them available for you and you will be hopefully re continuing to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff and obviously view as well. Now in this episode uh, we kind of have a little mishap at the end of the last episode where we blew up the moon so we need to figure out what happens to the earth when that happens and where are we actually so let's figure it out full jump complete running preliminary diagnostics several anomalies detected multiple digital security breaches found within full jump routines full engine critically damaged Hull integrity compromised. Analysis confirms discrepancies between the mission clock and the apparent advanced state of the solar system. We are receiving no communication signals from Earth. Likelihood of ongoing survival stands at approximately 7.67%. Activating Marduk survival protocols. New mission objective established. Ensure humanity's survival by finding a habitable exoplanet. Urgent issues requiring immediate attention. Increase food production output. Restore hull integrity. And in the immortal words of uh, astronaut uh, George Taylor from the Planet of the Apes, or we can only say, you maniacs, you blew it up. Damn you. God damn you all to hell. Yes, we are uh, back home. We are actually in Earth orbit or Moon orbit. We are still hovering around the Moon and it is um, not doing so well. It's a satellite, uh, mean radius, error, 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 tycoon sensor, Array error, incalculable fragment count. Yeah, that's that's not a good sign. The Earth, terrestrial mean radius unknown, satellites unknown, <laughs> too many to count. Uh, mean temperature doesn't seem like the normal mean temperature you would expect, and surface pressure is less than what you'd also expect. It is not good. Surface gravity, well, that's about the same, so, I mean, at least something hasn't changed. Right, Whew. well, um, let's figure out what I is going on. A new request awaits your attention. There. All right. Feed the crew is kind of important. All right. We have some new events. And uh, we have a uh, constructor probe. The probe launch. Repair the tycoon. Administrator. You may have noticed that the moon has broken apart. The crew are aware of this. And many rumors are spreading throughout the station. You will have to make an official statement. So. Enemy's fault or fate. Something must have happened during the test jump. Being such a high profile event, it was perfect opportunity for them to strike and sabotage our plans. I mean, it's not our fault, it's someone else's fault. Yeah. Despite our robust safety measures, a system failure at the exact moment of the jump caused the engine to drag the heart of the moon with it in with it into self-similar space. This failure has cost humanity dearly. Our mission is to rebuild. Ooh, taking full responsibility. Evidence suggests that a great deal of time has passed in the solar system. The moon's destruction is obviously a consequence of humanity's selfish and warlike instinct. Uh, yeah, it's definitely someone else. Uh, uh, I mean, this is the right thing to do. But, you know... Yeah, we'll, we'll do the right thing. The crew's trust in your leadership is falling. What? I, but I was honest. All right, 5% uh, trust. That's we can, do, we can recover that. We are not great in terms of trust. And I think that's going to be the biggest issue is... Um, Hull and morale and food and yeah. The crew are asking a lot of questions about the state of the earth. Monetary behavioral algorithm predict a decrease in productivity of 22% if the questions go unanswered. As administrator of the tycoon station, you should find some answers quickly. Commit to sending an expedition to earth. That we absolutely will. All right, so whew, uh, now we need to construct a probe in the probe launcher and send an expedition to earth. We'll send a probe here to figure out what is going on. Uh, we also have out on the map here, we have our science ship, the Mendeleev. Let's send that to... Um, yeah. 
Let's go for the Ghost of Ozanabi. That's the one. We'll, we'll send you over here first. That was the one that first popped up. Right, so we need to make sure that we have food. I also kind of like a better setup here. I really don't like having this one, um, yeah, positioned like this. But it is uh, what it is. Let's have a look at science or the tech tree. We are working on the batteries, but of course we can't really get any more. Um, we will get that when, well, eventually when we get that. So what is it we, uh, we want to do first? Well, we need to make sure that we have food. We need to... I think we're okay on a lot of things. One of the things that we'd like to do is actually look at this gateway. If we uh, start uh, tearing this down, then we could get to the next uh, section, but it's kind of requiring a lot of uh, has arrived at its destination. a lot of alloys. So I'm not really kind of sure that's the, what we want to do first. You know what I want to do first? I want to make a steel mill because we need to make sure that we get this first. So we can live without the batteries for a bit. There we go. Uh, there's no active tech lab. Oh, because it's working on on. Tech. Okay, and we have arrived at Orzanabi. Let's see what what is uh, what is here. Our sensors have detected the Orzanabi. The ship is broken in two and is not transmitting any signals. Uh, the phrase "What whoever helps those is the enemy of humanity" has been daubed in large letters on the wreck of the Orzanabi. Mummified bodies have been attached to the hull. That doesn't seem great. Um, the military teams will salvage what they can from the Osanabi. That takes one. We'll do that. That uh, seems like a reasonable thing to do. In the meantime, let's jump on back in here and figure out what we want to do. Well, since we have a giant location to discover, I want to make another dock. And we'll just smash it all the way over here. Because there's room for it at this location. Um, we'll get that. We'll actually get all the way over here, I think. Oops. There. I really don't want to like this here. <laughs> I really don't like it. Um, we need to figure out a better way to get things fit into the middle here. And that's, we'll see. This is clearly not a good idea. And well, maybe it's, maybe, it, maybe it's gonna work anyway. All right, so they are working on this. We unfortunately do not have enough alloys, so we do need to make sure that we get enough. We are also taking a massive amount of hull damage because we got minus 20 per cycle from the vol jump and minus eight from an open sector. We have enabled the repairs. We are enabling the repairs, so now it's going to be consuming a two per second. Has completed a task. Great. Science team. There we go. Uh, the ship was full of food. I hope the expiration date hasn't passed. Everything is ready for extraction. All right, that's good. I mean, 42 food, that's uh, going to keep us uh, keep us happy. Let's uh, send the Mendeleev science ship here. We are also going to uh, find an asteroid with iron deposits. So that is what we're going to do. We are going to launch here and we need to look for oh we saw a good iron deposit right here let's find that one that means we really need to um yeah we need some science yeah we need science in order to get any kind of progress and i think we need extra do we have up here no we do not have a mining ship so let's get another mining sh a mining ship engaged here because we will need to go out and mine uh mine that iron that we find with the drone in terms of of uh, population. Let's look at the population management. We have up to 225 in this location. We would like to knock this down to get to the next location, but uh, that's kind of also a bit out of reach right now. I think we need to uh, auto build the probes for a while. Gotta be a bit uh, worried about it, but we need to discover everything there is to discover in this world. Probe there we go. Has probe has completed the scan. scan. Good. And that's a lot of iron that we have available. Let's have a look in the fleet. Uh, overlay it's 576 so we need to start getting that as well as getting our ship uh, science ship reaching earth a science it did ship that right now perfect destination no signals have been received from earth the oceans seem to have evaporated and the surface temperature has risen significantly since the tycoon was last in orbit atmospheric readings indicate the presence of strong dust storms and dangerous high levels of carbon dioxide radiation and microplastics the blue planet will never again deserve this, its name Oh no. One thing that sort of strikes me here is that you can see the contours of Africa and if the oceans have evaporated, then you wouldn't be able to see that clear distance. But you know, yeah, whatever. Uh, we can investigate the dollar's headquarter, we can investigate personal location, or we can scour the globes in search of survivors. We'll start with the dollar's headquarter first. 
uh, we will go back in here and see if we get uh, the science or the mining oh Godzilla mining ship perfect should be uh, good uh, let's figure out what else we want I mean we want science in order to get we want science in order to get our steel mill going that's kind of the most important thing and after that we we're gonna need to get another another storage here because we are gonna get iron inbound so let's get that inbound here this middle section just can't be used really efficiently, unfortunately. So that will be here. You will be focusing on the iron part. Mine 57 iron. That's not a lot. Oh, for repairing the tycoon. Okay, research the steel mill. So we're working on researching the steel mill, but we don't have any research. And the science ship will for Earth. And we are ready for this part. Oh, uh, we have our mining ship. That's going to be mining all the other ones as well. A science ship team has completed a task. Now, the converted oil rig which Stolos used as its state-of-the-art headquarter is gone. Only a few metal scraps remain scattered across the expanse of dusty cracked earth. There is no sign of survivors. But 225 alloy and 45 signs. That is absolutely amazing. Um, we'll look for the personal. That's going to be the next one. But uh, the fact that we now can have our cargo ship. Uh, let's see, where's our cargo ship here? It's prioritizing getting the alloys back so that's good when we get the alloys back that's going to be super helpful there we go it's actually flying back and forth let's go inside and have a look at this all right you're still bringing the food stuffs back uh we do not actually have enough food here because each of these produce one per cycle one food feeds 10 crew members and it's every, and what they need a meal every five cycles so that means one food is 50 people per cycle so we actually need to make more of these Ugh. okay that's another headache for us to uh, to get but we we do have a lot right now but we're, we're not going to keep having a lot so let's... a new request awaits your attention a new request let's have a look sector one has almost reached its maximum structural load with more infrastructure surely need to soon a new sector will need to be unlocked. Original sectors are programmed to automatically unlock after the completion of the mission to Proxima Centauri with a change of the Tycoon's mission uh, objective. This restriction could be bypassed by manually overriding the gate locks. Pledge to do it within 10 cycles. Ooh. Alright, well I guess that's kind of what we have to do. So we'll do that. That's gonna assign 40 people here. That's kind of a lot. Uh, we have workers available in the sector, workers required for the sector. So this is actually pretty good. We're going to have to build a road over there. There. There we go. So they can now go to this location. And we have all the stuff. We have the food. We have uh, the people. We have... there, And we just completed a mission. What did we complete the mission? Uh, oh, there. What remains? No, we didn't. It didn't complete that. Uh, it was just here. Tutorial resources. Nope. Um, we need to get the science unlocked and we can't do that just yet but what we can do is we can start discovering things in here we're going to start from the inner orbits and just look for uh, signs of uh, interest here there that must be mercury so let's uh let's have a look at that and we'll be continuing to send out probes until we sort of have discovered all the things that we can discover in this uh in this place we have now this is going back with the osanagi okay so it's it's not getting any uh, any alloys in because it's still it was just focusing on emptying the osanagi for food kind of food is important should be good and we get the next event coming up a here. ship team has completed a task a huge cursor cuts through the ground where your home once stood there's no trace of civilization but there's trace of goodies i like those goodies sweet that's really good now let's just scour this in search of survivors. That's, I mean, that could be a thing. Open the gateway. Are we working on the gateway? Uh, we have 89 science and it's only going to be starting working after that. So what we really want is this one. I'll bump that up to high priority. We can survive without food for a bit. And, but the concern now is, where are you? What are you doing, Troy? You are unloading resources. Okay, so you're still just in the process of unloading. And now you'll go out. There we go. This is in the process of unloading. And they will be brought back to our storage facility. Hmm. 
Ah, oh, yeah, the storage facility, and then they'll be brought into our food hall, mess hall, and we'll just get the next one out in the world. We are gonna go for a back and forth here to recover some more. And we got the mining iron, and we got one two percent of this. That is not a lot. So let's wait for oh, break the moment. We can actually st continue to explore things. Uh, the tycoon has discovered a new point of interest. Great. Definitely more points of interest. Ooh, that's a lot of iron. We can see that point. There's a oh, there's a point of interest here. Smashing. What this is? This is mercury. Uh, it's just 15 science. Not a lot, but hey, it's a uh, free science. We need the science for uh, for progressing, I guess. And in the meantime, did we get our our ship is currently unloading resources. Great. So we should have some... Yay, look at that. We are getting this inbound. And it'll be dedicated to here. Uh, we have really problems with the polymer. I see that now. Because once I start building the ships, it's going to be difficult to get... Uh, we're going to need to get more polymers. What about you? Are you ready to unlock? Nope, you're not. Um, again, that's... It's just going to be a lot of back and forth here. So I'm focusing on this, which isn't really like the most important thing, I think, because even if I build it, I don't have enough uh, polymers to build to build what I, uh, I need. Oh, look at that. The hull integrity is not doing great. Uh, optimal working conditions. Okay. And there we, we want to maintain the, the working conditions. And this one, I'm, I'm not in any kind of uh, hurry to do it. All right, let's see. New point of interest. Oh, is it debris field? It wasn't Venus. Okay, let's uh, see if we can find another one. Oh, I just burned through those probes so fast. Maybe I should be a bit cautious about it. Uh, I need to make sure that I can actually find more or start producing it. But until we get this one completed, let's uh, just speed up the time. Then I won't be able to start collecting science, and that means I won't be able to start research on our steel mill, which I need for our a production. Science ship team there. has completed a task. After a long search, we have found nothing but rubble. We've seen no signs of life, not even a corpse. The lunaticism seemed to have caused a series of events that precipitated the collapse of thermo-industrial civilization. The Earth has become the toxic and arid wasteland, scoured by harsh winds, now more inhospitable than Mars. Mars. Uh, the only remnant of civilization we found was a fallen steel uh, where the city of Washington once stood. Stuck in a crevice, they, it has been sheltered from the wind. A prayer imploring divine forgiveness was engraved in gold on the surface. Oh, but 149 polymers. That is absolutely amazing. That is what we want. Great. Let's bring that back. And let's make sure that we have that prioritized highly as well. So, I might even prioritize this a little bit higher because we, uh, we're going to need that. Are we? Are we though? And the science is being consumed now. So, we now have the science flowing. That is excellent. All right, we can now start spamming this one as well. And we want to find Venus, because there must be a Venus somewhere. Uh, there must be this orbit. Hmm. Oh, that's the Earth orbit I was in. Oh, there it is. That must be Venus. All right, this debris field, this here, it's good. And the science is really chugging along now. Well, let's have a look at uh, Sector is now specialized in Space Rank 1. Great. Don't know what that means. Uh, what we're going to do is we are going to get another science ship. We're going to get another cargo ship and we're getting another one. I think we just need one of each. Oh, 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 we are just moving way too fast. How are we doing here? We are still getting things in. That's good. So, uh, I think... Oh, 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 oh. Mission reports from the expedition to Earth are being discussed among the crew. Uh, the thought of having lost all loved ones left behind has destroyed morale for many of them. The symptoms of this trauma have now been collated under the medical designation Dead Earth Sickness. Minus one stability. Ugh. To safeguard humanity, we must find survivors and increase the station's population. We do not have time to go through the classic, yet fun, reproductive cycle uh, of our species. Of your species. Oh, right. That's because it's uh, the, the Eden talking. Uh, adding new members uh, to the Tycoon's crew will have to be... Will have a positive impact on morale. Cryon, cryonic stasis, a practice pioneered by Dolores, was in growing use even before we left the solar system. There is a high likelihood that cryonic pods contain survivors await discovery. All right. Find 500 and collect them. 
that is a new home. Right, open the gate. The, the gate. We are not going to be assigning anything more. We're still working conditions here. We can't get a lot more crew in here, unfortunately. A new point of interest. That must be ah, it's Venus. Perfect. And uh, as we get more crew out here, that should be uh, good. Good. Uh, let's see if there's anything. Here's a point of interest in the asteroid belt. So let's look at that. Whatever that might be. We want to find every single piece of, uh, of, of interesting things. So, we now need to find some cryogenic uh, things. Uh, first things first, what do we have? We're working on the science ship is being built, and then it's the cargo ship, and then the mining ship. All right. All right, in the meantime, we have still good progress on this one, but it still needs a little bit more. Uh, I kind of want to do this. I know maybe it's not super effective, but I think it's, uh, it's the right way. How's our science doing? It is almost done with the steel mill. Great. Then we can see if we can... Oh, we need a steel mill right here. Oh, if we, don't, if we can't make it, that's going to be so sad. Uh, otherwise, I'll build it here if we can. I know the steel mill is super big. Uh, we need to be done with that. Okay, hull integrity is not doing so hard. Hey, we got retrieved all the science. That means our science ship can now move on to another location. Um, I think we'll send you to Venus... At this point. Yeah. We don't want to see you there. The brief field is big and interesting. And here we get a new location as well. And let's go back in. This one is completed. That was another drone. And this is not getting... A hey, drone has discovered a new point of interest. What is that? Asteroid belt. We don't know anything about what is there. Don't see mineral extraction Stanford facility. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. And we're heading over here. We are... Um, let's see if we look. This one is not getting in the iron inbound, but it would like to. We can now get a second science vessel going. Science vessel? Science ship. Yeah, science vessel. That sounds better. And we're now working on getting... You can see these are bringing over the iron or the alloys over to unlock the next, next section. So we'll put the next section in there. And we are 97%, so that's going to be the next one. And here we are, we're working on the next cargo ship because we're also needing a lot of cargo ships inbound. Sector open. Oh, damn. Open. Oh my god, we're actually not get making it. Oh no. We're not making it. It's 0 0.2. What? That's crazy. We're. I thought we had plenty of time. Oh no, we're going to take a hit from this. It's so close. Can you just give me a little bit more time? It's zero. Let's see what happens. It was at 78%. Administrator has decreased. The trust has been decreased by 15%. The ship has arrived at its destination. Well, we can recover it. As long as we have a net positive, it should be fine. Arrived at Venus. All right. What do we have here? Data, probe data has revealed mining and industrial infrastructure below the surface of Venus. According to reports from the exploration team, a subterranean site consists of mining infrastructure and a large assembly line. Many embalmed bodies were found in the area. The line seems to have been originally used to fabricate solar sails. Solar sails? Mm, for the Dyson Sphere, I guess. Not solar cells, but solar sails. Ah. DSP crossover. Tycoon engineers suggest that this, with minor repair, it could be restarted. Psh, minor repair. Uh, we'll send we'll send that over. Sure. Um... We don't have that yet. Yes. We want to send that over, even though we don't have it yet. But when we have it, it'll be sent over there. That should be good. And we have a second. Oh, the Mendeleev. And then Einstein is our second one. So let's send Einstein over to recover at Mercury. And in the meantime, we'll be continuing to explore. And that will go out in the next orbit to see. Oh. There we go. That must be uh, Jupiter out here. Steel mill has been unlocked. Great. Uh, we're not getting any of the buffs because I, I noted in my first episode that there's a bit weird. Oh, need to stop to pause one in here. Uh, that it felt a bit weird that we had um, like a lot of research unlocked. But there is a reason because you actually have sub researchers here. And there's particularly one research I'm really looking forward to looking for. And that is Czech Lab. It's this one. Uh, the tech... Technology tier 2 is required. Okay, so I think we need to research all of the other research at this level before we can get that unlocked. 
Right, let's go back in. We have a steel mill. And that's going to be over here. We can build a factory. And... Okay, that can be built here. We just need to kill this one. Uh, food is not that important, is it? I mean, it's fine. And we are also going to destroy this. So I'm not so worried about this uh, kind of uh, destruction of resources because we will get it back again. We uh, actually recover all of the resources from, from doing this, which I really like. I mean, it might not make sense, but I really like it nonetheless. The fact that you are recovering all resources when, uh, when recycling things. We are also kind of... The middle... This section out here is 9. This section out here is 9. They're brilliant. And those lines here... And that means we have 10 in the middle. But most of our buildings are 4x4. Four four, so that 10 is not great. This is being demolished. Um, and we are just barely getting over here. Interesting that we... Uh, you know what we really want? We really want an extra workshop, don't we? Because things are just not moving that fast here. Like, look at how slow it is. It would be nice with an extra workshop. Also, why is this one coming before here? I can't even bump this up. This just seems to be... Oh, battery technology. Uh, that means we're actually done with our technology research. I think we need to get the cryogenic center because they kind of said something about we should uh, thaw some um, human popsicles. And then what else would we want? Uh, memorials? Yeah, we can put some memorials. That's probably good for uh, for just all-round happiness there. And I'll put that one in here. And then we should be able to build our new factory. And there. Oh, beautiful spacing. That is a big factory. Great. Perfect uh, location. We do not have enough electronics, but we do have them on, on Earth. So we just need to get back here. Maintenance. We now have batteries. Uh, it would be nice to actually get some batteries, I think. Do we need to have uh, room access for this? I don't know. Hmm. Kind of impractical. And it looks like our major issue is the fact that we are missing... Missing uh, a lot of... Let's see. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Here's a problem. That one. Uh, carbon will actually be your main priority. And over here, you're going to be taking pretty much everything. Don't really know what to prioritize for you. Let's prioritize actually the iron for you. Or maybe I don't. Maybe I don't want to prioritize that for any of them. Uh... There you go. Let's prioritize the iron for, for you as well. And there. So we can get... Oh, this one got picked up. Right, it did? Hmm. Oh, this is a mining and I don't know where, where that is. And we have another probe. We found Jupiter out here. And it's not exactly a, a set of car keys or something that you can lose easily. Uh, there's a point of interest in somewhere nearby. But we're gonna go... Uh, there we go. That must be Saturn. And we have... Oh, uh, this one is... In event, this one is idle. Einstein is idle. Mm -hmm. Let's have you fly to... Oops. You are idle, right? Standing by. Yes. Not idle. Standing by. Great. Alright, I think we're working okay here. This is progressing. Oh man, it looks like we're not getting... Okay, let's just pause this and have it complete this so we can actually unlock the next section. It took a bit of time to unlock the section and we're having massive issues here. Costs three per cycle. Ow, that's expensive. We are at least getting plus 12, so we are repairing faster than we are losing, but we are also using a lot of uh, repair kits for it. And Oh no, it's these ones now. Pause, stop this. I can't mark this as high priority, so I'm just going to have to pause everything else so that I will get stuff sent over here. There we go, that's a the one we're looking for. Has arrived at its destination. Ooh, at the debris field. That is interesting. We have verified the data several times. A new request awaits your attention. All right, I'll do that. Uh, sometimes and confirm the existence of a vast debris field covering the area of several thousand kilometers. At the center of the field is a colossal artificial structure, which even in its ruined state makes the tycoon look like an insect. 
No signals have been detected. We have identified three areas of investigation. The core of the structure, a secondary structure that looks to be the remains of a destroyed loading dock and a particular dense area of debris field close to the other two sites. We recommend the utmost caution be taken when approaching these areas. The floating debris will make navigation difficult and interfere with communications. Uh, the Einstein is holding station at the edge of the debris field. A route has been mapped through the areas and in five for investigation. Let's investigate the core. Let's go for the core. Let's do that. Population. It looks like we have... Um, there. Events. Minnesota has successfully unlocked. Uh, this is a historic moment for Dollars AEC and Tycoon's base. Where's our reward? Ah, there we go. Trust bonus. 10%. Sweet. All right. But this get makes it now more difficult because... Hello, free loot. But we do need to build this. Now... We have to figure out how I want to do it. I really like the idea of having nine, nine, but then the, the middle one is, only, is ten, and ten is like a really bad number for, for us. Um, I could make... It would have to be... If we look at this one, like... Uh, let's, let's look at this. Here. One... No, this is eight, nine, ten. If I could make it two more, then this up here would only be seven. Seven is a really bad number because this can't fit. These two can't fit. It can fit like a, one of these plus one of those. It's still like really bad uh, fit. It can fit some of the other things that are seven. seven. So I, I think we'll just have to accept that the middle section is just going to be a little bit impractical. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that means this is going to be here. Luckily, these don't cost anything. Uh, so that will be here. Um... We need to build, you can see here, we have 40 people. Those are the ones we assigned to the gate. They will now need to get some housing. Um, let's see. I also want to make sure that we don't get... I'll do that one. And we need to make... We don't have a lot of options to build. We have a workshop. Workshop is probably the most important thing. Let's make a, make a workshop here. Right by the entrance. And we need a small stockpile for... Uh, for anything, I guess. Here. And yeah, and we don't have any health building. Kind of obvious. Uh, actually, do I want this one here? Nope. Ah, uh, no. Shit. Food is a mess hall. We also want that. Oh, look at that. That would actually fit perfectly here. We'll put the mess hall at this location. And we will then need to align all of these as well. That can be recovered. That can be recovered. Uh, these will be recovered. We'll just get that one in here. Something is happening. Einstein, all science at... And that's... Okay, I feel that things are moving quite quickly. Completed a task. So we're looking at the memorials, yes. And after that, I think we want a polymer factory. Because then we can make our own polymers. And we have... This is the on Venus Bobihan. Let's have a look at this location. The assembly line has been repaired. The machines belong to the UN and are clearly more advanced than our, sol our own our systems. They are fully automated and our team has been able to use them to prepare a number of resources for extraction. During the repair process, an engineer discovered a number of inscriptions written by Ulysses. Uh, he speaks of his time as administrator of Neptune's Hyperlux station, the Aki, and expresses regret over the fate of the station's residents. He used the line to repair elements of his sh ship so that he could reach the headquarter of the Black Market Society. All right, so we get sort of some, some new facts. We have a Ulysses and we have a... Uh, a Thiaki station around Neptune and we have a black market society. We get science and we get the uh, 25 uh, human popsicles that we can thaw and get some uh, workers out of, hopefully. Did we uh, did we find something out here? Oh, you're still heading there. Um, debris field. Yeah, you're working on the debris field. That's fine. Let's have a look at other locations. Oh, is there something interesting? I mean, it's it's it's... There's a ping here. Look at that. It's... Uh, follow it. Follow. It. Oh, it's so close. Where is it? Yeah. 
Ah, there it is. There's a scan. We look for all these points of interest whenever we can. Those are the most important things. And you are standing by. Oh, but but you're not standing by. You should be standing by. Couldn't you? Can't you recover the resources? Oh, I'm paused. Never mind. Processing signs. Yes. And in event. Yes. And go back inside. Good. All right. This one has to continue to work, and then we'll get the workers. And we need a storage. This storage has to be yeah that one. Once oh this is ah we can't unlock these because it's not connected. We have to go all the way over here. So I really shouldn't be making any more locations here just yet. Uh, we also need a food storage place. Mm. This will be for food storage, I guess. And we need an infirmary. Oh, now we can uh, build stuff here. Ooh, a cryogenic center. Well, 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 for thawing human popsicles. I guess that is... Uh, they are just always like... Really no impractical sizes. Available to mine. What? Did it say no more resources available to mine? Oh, right. Okay, so we are going to be having to invest a probe into finding more resources to mine. If we look at resources, yeah, nothing left to mine, but uh, lots left to pick up. So there's still a lot to pick up. Oh, we also have uh, our human popsicles to pick up. Though we don't have anywhere to store them right now. All signs from Venus, that means... Uh, we have Mendeleev can go somewhere else. Uh, where would that be? We have uh, actually we're we're cleaning these out pretty damn quickly. And we have another probe. I think we will use this probe to find another location for mining. Uh, we'd like to get some carbon though. Oh, well, I'll I'll take this carbon. That looks pretty good. And this one is heading back for repairs. Okay, uh, let's have a look inside and look at our new location. There we go. That's going to be the first one. And we have a mission here. Pledge to have eight units of food stored in sector two within 20 cycles. Oh, that should be easy. Uh, that should be easy. But this one has to be food. Perfect. And we will be organizing this as well. There we go. Uh, to this location. And I will be just getting, getting these two as well. And basically, at this point, I want to make sure that I take the most important ones first. The ones that are blocking sort of the infrastructure build and also some of these things, right? So now we need to figure out what I want to build in this location. And uh, what do we want to build? Well, we're going to have to build some housing. Completed scan. One, two, three. And I guess this one has to be taken out as well so that we can work on this. Now comes a big uh, challenge here. If we look at the resource management, I have to take pause to go this. Now, here is a resource management. It took a bit of time to figure out how it works, but um, let me just explain it to you. For example, we have alloys in sector two. We have no alloys in sector uh, uh, alloys in sector one, but no alloys in sector two. So we can we can basically export, or we can import, or we can try to balance things up. So, for example, if I say I have in sector one. I'm pretty much maxed out. I can say that this is active for importing, for interacting with other sections. If it's not triggered, then it's not. And you can here select which ones it exports to. And then you can set it to the values and you can see over here what it's at. So right now you can see here and then it's yellow this part. That means it's set to export. If it's, if you look at sector two and then I go here, then you can see it is set to it's blue, so that means it's set to import. So right now, what this would uh, would mean is that it would try to export anything that's here. This is set to export, and anything here would be import. As long as there is a connection, then there should be a uh, transfer. There we go. It starts transferring, and that will be done by transfer drones. What we can also do is actually just click this one to say it's half of the maximum storage and half the maximum storage. If I do click both of these, then it will try to maintain that they are half full, both of them. So if I start using from one, then they start transferring the other one. That could cause some excessive transferring back and forth. Uh, but on the other hand, it also means that you balance it out between the different locations. Something such as polymers, for example, I'd like to be able to sort of balance out between those two. Uh, so if we have too many here, let's shunt someone over to the other location. And uh, maybe not actually. Maybe here I don't want as much. Uh, we don't have any storage, so it's not going to be sending over anything. You need to have a storage here. Food, for example, is probably important to make sure that we 
have food sort of balanced out between the two different locations especially because that was what it was uh, what it was saying uh, and then we need to figure out what we want because I keep putting things into this one and I want to I really shouldn't be building this one to be honest uh, maybe we just kill it and start working on that yeah let's destroy destroy that and build it over on this side as well instead I think that's a better idea I guess uh, they are building and because they're building where is the constructor oh there we go these two need to be removed And they're now coming in with the uh, supplies here. We're going to work f so we can get this sorted. We don't have a lot of food. Uh, we don't have a lot of... We don't have any health. Uh, population, that is a... Where is that? Maintenance. Nope. Food. Insect farm. Yeah, we don't have a food production in this location. That's not great. I need these two emptied. And once these two are emptied, then I'll build a... Uh, resource a steel mill at this location unfortunately what this means is I'm getting the steel in here uh, oh we don't have anything to store the popsicles uh, let's do that maintenance and uh, that will be up here that will be a popsicle stand and we are also getting iron here and I will there and now I can build my factory that's super important to build a factory. And I will build it at this location. That's the place that has most space. There we go. So this needs to be built. Unfortunately, you can see we it, we do need to have some processors over here. That's kind of weird, but it um, yeah, it's it's how it, it has to be done. Um, and that means ship has arrived at its destination. Okay, I'm I'm getting a bit overwhelmed here, <laughs> but uh, at infirmary, I'd like that. Thank you. We'll put it in here. And I would need another small storage here. That one. This small storage will be exclusive for electronics. Not because we want electronics in a vast quantity. But I need to transfer two electronics to this location. Uh, we're going to be looking at the location. You have arrived at the asteroid belt. Uh, what about... The debris field. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll see. First visuals reveal a huge damaged structure surrounded by arches uh, that have detached from the central axis. These arches uh, have extreme signs of deterioration. Their structure is covered in traces of explosive residue, collision impacts, and scarring from unknown weaponry. After exploring a few areas, the structure that remains accessible, the team of the Einstein spotted a number of salvageable resources near a ruined assembly area. Further analysis is possible, but will take time. All right, we got a bit of science and 25 uh, human popsicles. We will be investigating the ruined assembly area. Good. Whew. All right, um, let's take stock of the situation and figure out where we are. This is, you're standing by. Oh, right, because we haven't started this event. A new request awaits your Oh no, a mess hall has been disabled. We have accidents, oh no. But we have, oh, they're working An extra hours now. has occurred in the tycoon. Okay, first of all, we'll be repairing it. One crew member was killed. No, we can't afford to have people killed. Oh, I'll pledge to replace, uh, to repair it. Ooh, that's not good. All right, so is this, uh... all right, it still works. They just exploded. Ooh, that's not good. Actually, we might want to look at that workplace safety. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Well, workplace safety, all right, here. Uh, buildings need workers, and workers need working conditions, and are they, are you working in the background? Oh, when you open the stuff like this, the game should just pause. Please pause automatically. Uh, injuries. Hmm. Breakdowns cause uh, poor working conditions. Okay, breakdowns can occur due to, yeah. And repairs and fires, we don't want fires. All right, so. Let's take stock of the situation. We are now in a position where we are actually overloading our crew. What are we going to do about that? Well, I think that we'll start disabling things because uh, we don't want to do that. Extra hours still if we disable this one as well. Um, then it's working back to optimal working conditions. Uh, that means we need some of these uh, popsicles to be uh, defrosted. And they're just going to be left in this location. And we'll do that up to... 
Uh, I have 225 uh, storage spaces, so we'll just get that sorted here. These can also be resumed to get higher population. And in here, we are also getting lots of stuff. So let's continue to uh, expand what we can or consume what we can here. This goes away. This goes away. How many do we have in this sector? We have 40 and we're using 24. This one needs to work. We have this one. Okay, now I'm going to show you how that is done. We are going to look at electronics. I'll export this. Export it anything over five. This one, import up to two. As I release it, it should transfer two between those. It should transfer two. There we go. It is now transferring two of those, which will go over here and go into that one. Great. And that's kind of the important thing. Stability. Ooh, we can make a genetic conatus memorial. Uh, they're kind of expensive, but I think we kind of need it at some point here. They don't take any resources. Like, yeah, they, they do take resources, but they don't take any, uh, any crew to deal with it. I'll build it out here. I don't think that's like... Oh, hold on. That's a mistake. That's a mistake. Yes, go away. And I turned it the wrong way around. There. That should be better. So we can build that one eventually. Uh, we are... Oh, we're getting carbon in here. That's also interesting. Unfortunately, and this is something I'm kind of a bit iffy about, to be honest, is the fact that every time... When we get stuff inbound to this location... They have to have a storage. And a storage takes five people to work a storage. It's just a storage. Uh, you're going to get the carbon there. So that can be allocated. Did we get this? Yes, we did. So now I can redo this. Don't want to have that for this. Uh, we'll build that actually as that one's much more useful. And for our crew, for resource alignment here, we are not going to be exporting anything. But uh, alloy polymers and food will be balanced. Uh, between the two two setups over here as we get more resources available we have populations 53 workers and we have 47 assigned are required so as we uh, thaw some more of these then we can uh, can uh, can re-enable the food which uh, we have to be on top of our food okay they're working extra hours that means chance of an accident don't like don't like at all this is getting built. Once this gets built, we can start working on our uh, our automatic production of uh, alloys. There. And that goes all the way over. And you go all the way over. Because we're going to need to get into the next one at some point. There we go. And then we'll just get these kind of indents here where it's necessary. Just want to make sure that we can a tap everything. Team has completed a task. And there. Sweet. That is a, a good place. Whew. Science team has... Uh, this is more on the debris field. After examination, the Einstein team concluded that the site was uh, evacuated prior to its destruction. Finding uniforms and equipment bearing the insignia of different organizations, it appears this facility was properly property of the UN. Strangely, a number of embalmed bodies were found in secluded areas. The team were was unable to determine the cause or outcome of the conflict, but have managed to recover further resources. Uh, these have been packaged for extraction. Ooh, 250 popsicles. Yay! Uh, let's look at the ruined dock now. That is uh, a lot of uh, work we can do here. Remember, died during the last cycle in an accident. Yeah, we know that. Don't, don't remind me. What about you? You are processing science. That's good. You are uh, standing by. Ah, uh, we... I don't know if I want to get started on this one. Uh, not that I know what it is, but it just feels like we are... Uh, um, yeah, it feels... Oops, oops. It feels like I think we we are at a point... Oh, there we go. The That's good. Is being overworked. Okay, we have an incoming transmission. Let's see what that incoming transmission is about. Administrator, we are picking up a Dolos emergency frequency. Well, well, well. Broadcasting from the facility... Outer Hope. Dolo's protocol dictates that in the event of a major systems failure, administrators must contact the nearest Dolo site immediately. 
Outer Hope Station is likely to have both the materials and expertise required to repair the damage that the Vol engine has sustained. Okay, so what um, that means we now have find the Dolo Station with a probe, and I just disabled my probe. Oh, there. Uh, are we even doing science? Yeah, we're doing science. Uh, this the probe launcher. I'm gonna really enable the probe launcher, and we're gonna find that. Uh, let's go out to the map and find it because that is gonna be sort of continuation of the quests. Find Dolo Station with a probe. All right, let's let's scan for like there is. The, this this tier is objective related to points of interest. So we can see that it activates up here. There. So that's where we definitely want to go. Uh, we want to arrive at that station. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually not going to take... The Einstein is working on the debris field, but the Mendeleev is not going to start working on the asteroid field, but going to go up here instead. So in the meantime, we'll just fly you back again. Um... And I can then go in. We are going to be needing to do some management of our resources. I will disable you because I don't need uh, need that right now. We want to make sure that we have extra resources here. And that means I now need to export some or uh, transfer some resources. That means from sector 1 to sector 2, I want to transfer any crew. 15. Uh, let's, uh, let's do 15. That'll help because we're actually way overworked here and that's going to cause accidents and I don't like accidents. I don't think any of us like having a uh, random accidents in our factory. Uh, we do need to also make sure that we have more population control. And this is where the game this like it's deceptively simple, but damn, it gets complicated because right now there is a balance. Okay, I'm just going to pause while I try to explain what the challenge right now is. It might not be evident, but I need to make sure that we don't overwork our people because then we start having accidents and accidents uh, means the hull deteriorates and it means that we are, um, it means that uh, population decreases because of death from accidents. So that's bad. So we want to make sure that we don't overwork them. That means we need more people. The only way to get more people is to have the cryogenic center just keep uh, throwing the popsicles and uh, getting out here. Uh, so that will be the only source of, of new here because the let's say traditional way of making humans is not really working these days uh, so that's uh, that's another little chance and we need to balance between the two different locations working conditions are bad here working conditions are bad they're both overworked extra hours is the least one and overwork is very bad and i really need to take something out here uh, maybe we even just do that and that gets it a little bit better um I don't know what else I could take out. There's nothing really I could... Oh, with the infirmary, we can take that out. I mean, what could possibly go wrong by not having an infirmary? But we need... Actually, you know what? It's the other way around. Uh, we need to take these out. And I need to make yet another one of these. There. This will be... For... Um, the iron. Yes. So once we have the iron, then we can start transferring iron from one to the other and let's go for iron here you will be exported and you want to have zero as target complete. and you want to have maximum but you don't have maximum because you don't have anything what was that that completed 15 crew okay the transfer has been completed okay good now we are happy and optimal here we are working extra hours that um that's going to be fixed gradually because we are opening more uh, uh, or throwing more popsicles. So that's good. This is... Ooh, look at that. That's actually interesting. Uh, let's do this. And then claim that. That's really nice that we get this. Wow. However. It's also a bit risky. Uh, this is not powered. And this is not working because of the worker is out here doing other stuff. Let's bump you up to high priority. We want that. Food? Ah, oh, they're starving. Starving it. Why are they starving? A science ship team has what completed a task. I, I'm, I'm puzzled. Fifteen of the crew are starving in sector two. Why are they? Why are you starving? We have food. So get the food in there. It's a long way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that should not be a problem. Hmm. I don't like that. 
Retrieved all signs from the debris field. Right, and we have not discovered that one yet. We'll look at the debris field. Frozen human remains constitute the majority of the debris that surrounded the loading dock. Evidence suggests that this area experienced depressurization after a structural breach. The dock itself has been looted and partially dismantled. Several cairns have been left behind, arranged in helical shapes and erected uh, using makeshift materials. The team did find a few resources and these have been prepared for extraction. All right, one. And then we're just gonna survey the last part that takes a long time, but it is, we are now gonna be seeing this. There we go, we found the Outer Hope and we will send the Mendeleev up to that location. Um, point of interest, received all science and you have done that. Uh, we're working on this and in here we have a bit of an urgency here uh, this has been done so now let's go back to our resource management in sector 2 we now want to have the maximum available so now what it means that anything coming into sector 1 because that's the only way we have loading docks will now be exported out to sector 2 because that's where we want it and then this one should be able to work if I pop this open I think they oh, 30 resources then they're going to be working extra hours. It's unfortunate, but it's uh, kind of how it has to be right now. Uh, we have to make do with just a little bit of extra work. A little bit of extra time. Uh, we could disable this. Is that going to change, change it, make it? No, not change anything here. Uh, this one, I'm going to transfer this back to the other location. Because I don't want to use a full five resources just to hold these five that's kind of annoying that it that storage is using that much so uh, i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna set it to minimum and i'm gonna set you and i'm gonna set you to maximum so that should uh, generate a transfer come on generate a transfer there we go it generated the transfer and since this one is now empty we can then restructure it to become polymers because we do need polymers in here and then we'll have that health there are no health building. I know, I know. But uh, I just don't understand why we don't have any food here. Uh, I mean, I know we're not producing enough food, but... Uh, and this is really where we have an issue. We just cannot support all the stuff that we want to make in this, uh, in, in this base. Whew. This is tough. Let's continue harvesting here. We do have set up a transfer. I'm just going to pause between these so that they will always try to sort of balance out between the two but right now we don't have a lot of stock of uh, alloys and this is the one that's going to save us it's going to be our saving grace and uh, we want more of these but that's kind of not really happening all the signs in the debris field uh, yes and new recovery yeah so once we get up here to the new hope that is uh, going to be a good milestone because that is if we found the new hope the new hope or the outer hope is um this is the one we were looking for before. Um, the, the secret location we found in the prologue. So now we come back to it. This is going to be a bit of a, a dicey situation, to be honest. The fact that we are in this location and we just don't have enough people. That's really the, the issue here. And we are overworking everyone because I kind of want to move too far, fast forward. And uh, that's not good. That's uh, going to be punishing. Uh, let's make a few there and get that one as well get this one so that we have all of these claimed what are you okay so these will eventually be ready but this is working this is good this is uh important we could the also ship has arrived at its destination we could um actually we could just disable this oh that's a good good massive step forward because we don't have science so there's no reason to do that now they're happy and optimal and I'm going to do a transfer of more resources between them. So I'm going to transfer 10 from 1 to 2. Start migration. Uh, because we need more people over here. And uh, we also have a really big issue. And that is an acute lack of food. For every... Uh, it's not an acute lack of food. But it's kind of a lack of food. Maybe we want to throw in some more food in this location as well. Put that here. Oof. Exciting. Right. But we have reached the outer hope so i think with this one we will get started on figuring out what it is let's see what the outer hope is because that's going to be the main quest here 
A dawn's emergency signal is broadcasting from these coordinates. It originates from the research station Out of Hope. Out of Hope is surrounded by wreckage and debris from a pa past battle. Broken equipment and frozen bodies float around the station. The emergency signal is transmitting from inside. Let's search the battlefield first. So, with that, I think that now that we've found the Out of Hope, that is a good place for us to uh, wrap up this uh, episode. Let's just take stock of the situation. We are under pressure in terms of sort of managing our little civilization in here. And this is uh, quite yeah, yeah, quite difficult, to be honest. Uh, the fact that we are so constrained by our population growth means that we have to manage what they're doing at any given time. For example, I'd like to be able to have a polymer factory. I'd like to have two of these factories. But all of this is constrained by the speed by which we are opening uh, opening the popsicles. And uh, that's kind of a problem. Uh, we can also just tap everything here. And... And now, but we do have a lot of space to work on. That's that's something at least. And what is it? The main parts we'll want to make more industry over here. I think we'll put in another one of these, and also a polymer factory as well, if we can get there. Maybe even in a, an electronics factory as well. But we do also need to make sure that we stay on top of the food as well in uh, in this region or in this sector, because we have to look at the total amount here total amount of uh, resources in total is oh it doesn't even say like total it's only up here 211 so with 211 people we need at least four of these running or we need we need five of these running and that's why we're building a fifth one because each one can support 50 and that's and they have to be working all the time as well so that's a uh, that's another challenge uh, here i i just this is just mind-boggling why these 40 in here are not being allocated up to that one. I don't understand it. And if you have any idea why, then sure, let, let me know. This is... It, it might be because they're doing something else. I just don't understand it. Why this is a... Uh, this is like this. And I don't understand why they are the, the crew are starving in this location. Because they really shouldn't be. After missing a meal, the crew members will become to starve. Starving crew will start to recover if they are fed during the next meal. Okay, so the Okay, so maybe they just missed one and then the next one they're going to be fine. It's just dangerous to see this, but if they miss it again then ugh. um good thing these people only need to eat every 5 days. Uh, we are now working extra hours, but we are transferring the resource uh, the the people here as soon as population transfer complete. There we go. Now we have optimal in both locations. I can re-enable this one just so we get that out. Whew. All right, that is a, that's a good place to end, I think. Let's see when is the. Oh, I want to see this. I want to pop this out and see if we are uh, if we are actually going to be good on this. I want to have no bad warnings. Come on, give me no bad warnings. And eating seven. There we go. Okay, so we have uh, managed to stabilize the situation, and what we need to do now is industrialize. We need to research. We need to explore a lot of things out here. We need to figure out what the Auto Hope is all about and uh, open our our human popsicles and get them to be uh, productive workers of our society. We also have a lot of things uh, still yet to discover here. So tons and tons of things in the next episode. I also really like the story in this uh, in, in this game. Like it's really interesting because it's not just like what happened because of our accident. It's also like what are these different factions and what is the black market society and what is this things uh, arranged in helical shapes? I don't know, but there's definitely something suspect about things uh, more than just uh, this debris field is also holding a lot of interesting uh, interesting things like this gigantic structure. What is that? Who built it? Why was it attacked? Who attacked it? It's all things that we will find out in the next episode or in the future episodes at least. So. Thank you very much for watching, everyone, and I hope you are, in, uh, continue to, are interested in me continuing it because I am thoroughly enjoying it. So if you do, hit the like button, share it with your uh, family and friends and all that good stuff, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, take care, and as always, stay effective. <laughs>